Welcome back, folks. We are looking at some light showers pushing into parts of the Midlands right now. Saluda County getting some light rainfall. Uh, also into Newberry County, northern parts of Lexington and Richland counties. Just light showers. This will not really create any type of problems as we go through the overnight hours. Let's take a look at the Weatherbug Network and we'll take a tour across the Palmetto State and we'll start up in York County, Rock Hill, South Carolina. A 12 hour lapse, cloudy but quiet up there. Throughout the day, we will see showers pushing in to the northern parts of the Palmetto State later on. Down in Sullivan's Island from the Fire and Rescue, looking at the marsh there, kind of a gray day. It is March, it's still officially winter, but by looking at these images here at Heath Springs, still reminding us of winter that uh, will last for another, well, today is Tuesday the 4th and spring officially begins on Thursday the 20th, so two weeks and two days. We'll take today out and just say two weeks and one day. 37 degrees at Pilliam, 35 in Charleston at Riley Park, Heath Springs at 36 and 37 in Rock Hill. As we look across the region, that cold air mass hanging on, in fact, for many of us, what you see right now, these are the high temperatures for the day as this Arctic air is not allowed a whole lot of wiggle room with the numbers. As far as rainfall goes, well, that's all that we're seeing sliding into the area. We have seen winter weather throughout uh, the Arkalatex region, parts of East Texas into Louisiana and Arkansas now moving throughout the Gulf Coast states. Just rainfall, no winter weather with it. And that's what we'll see slight chances of as we roll through the overnight hours here. Future watch. This front is the culprit. It's hanging around. It's keeping that unsettled air mass high pressure to the north. It's bringing cold air down the back side of the Appalachians. It's called cold air damming or as we like to call it, the wedge pattern. We're going to see an area of low pressure develop late in the week in the Atlantic. What does all that mean? It means you've got moisture that's over uh, flowing coming in from the Atlantic on top of that cold air mass and it's going to bring for cold rain towards the end of the week. So a soggy pattern, despite the fact that Future Watch wants to bring a break in the clouds tomorrow night. I'm not seeing enough to support that as far as the forecast models go. So I'm keeping clouds and rain chances in and drastically cooler temperatures. Down into the 30s as you're waking up tomorrow morning, 37 at 9, 40 at noon, only up to 45 tomorrow. And the reason I've dropped the numbers from the 50s that we talked about last night and that Garrett was talking about this morning is because these clouds are just not wanting to budge that cold northerly wind. So I'm actually not really seeing a lot in the way of support to see these numbers going any higher than the mid 40s. 40s on Thursday, 50s Friday as the rain ends and just in time for the week and beautiful weather expected as we spring forward Saturday night into Sunday morning. Also a good time to check the batteries and your smoke detectors around your home. 60s out there to start next week with slight chances of rain on Tuesday. Keep the winter coats and the umbrellas handy folks. This is Watch Fox News at 10. Brian's back with another look at sports after the break.